Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Jazz here. Um, this is actually going to be my second time recording this video. I recorded a video last night, but I just looked back on it and I don't like it. Like I was eating strawberries in the video and I had stuff on my teeth. And um, if you guys hear that beeping, it's because I don't have my seatbelt on and my car is telling me to put my seatbelt on. But I don't feel like it because honestly, I'm about to get me a latte and um, I'm about to just park somewhere and do this video. Um, but I did the video last night, but I was very tired. And guys, honestly, I'm still very tired. Like, I'm drained. And this is why I'm going to go get the latte from Dunkin' Donuts. They have $2 lattes from 2 to 6. So that's what I'm about to do. So give me a second, guys. I'm getting ready to order this. Hi, can I have a medium iced latte, uh, decaf? Any sugar flavor? Uh, do you have sugar-free vanilla? Yes. Can I have the sugar-free vanilla um, in Splenda? Okay. And that's it. Oh, wait, I have a question. Are you able to make that a uh, power latte? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, can you? If that, that's what I would like. Thank you. Anything else you today? That's it, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. So that was pretty amazing. They have something called a power latte at Dunkin', um, and it has 15 grams of protein in it. And why not? You know. So, un momento por favor. I should not be spending any money, but. I, I am clearly Thank you. Right okay. Do you, do you have on a highlighter? Mm -hmm. What kind of highlighter do you use? It's um from Paris Hilton. It was actually like a really cheap one. I got it really? from Ross for like three dollars, girl. It looks beautiful. Thank like, you. Is she naturally glowing or just I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but thank you. You're so welcome. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Uh, I wish I was naturally glowing. Um, but that just go to show you, like, the highlighter that I have on. I'm not the part, guys. Oh, is this place not, is this place not up anymore? It's not. Wow. It was a bicycle shop that was right there. I guess I'm kind of just bringing you guys along my lunchtime at, the, at this point. I'm going to just um, park my car because I'm tired of hearing the seatbelt going off. And I'm only like five minutes away from my job. So I ain't got to rush. Lunch is over at three. So anywho, I like I said, I made the video um, last night. And I was eating strawberries in the video. It was all of my teeth guys I was like I was just watching I was like no I can't I can't put this up I can I can do this over and then my lashes was messing with me I ended up getting my lashes done um to go to New Orleans so these are like individual mink lashes and I normally wear strip lashes like I'm a strip girl I love strips it will be coming on to my um, website as well I have um strips that I'll be selling and I just love like uh, strips because you can take them off you can wash your face like with these I have to avoid my eyes or at least I try to but they still get wet 
And then also, like, I'll have, like, little different um, lashes that are sticking certain ways. Like, in the video that I made, there was a lash that was, like, sticking straight up, looking crazy as I don't know what. So, I say all of that, but I think I am going to get these filled in because, honestly, it just makes it so much easier as far as, like, getting dressed in the morning or just, like, trying to look cute. I don't have to try that hard because my lashes are already done. I ain't got to sit there and glue them on. But at the same time, I do miss my strips, girl. I, girl, like I'm telling somebody. But anywho, so this is my 18-week 18 18 update. I am two weeks away from being a little less, actually a little less than two weeks um, away from being five months out. I am down 53 pounds. My highest weight was 302 pounds. I am now down to 249.6 pounds. I was 249.6 last week as well, so I didn't gain and I didn't lose any weight. And honestly, I thought I was going to lose weight because I did a lot of walking while I was in New Orleans, like a lot of walking. And I just swore that I was going to I was going to lose some weight, but I did not. And, and it's probably because I did not eat the best um, as far as, like, I, I had carbs, I had pasta, I had bread, I had breaded chicken. So, even though you're only eating a little bit, the whole point about VSG is that you're not putting in sugars and carbs and your body is working off of your fat to burn energy. It's like keto. So even though you're eating small amounts, you're still going to lose weight because you're eating small amounts, but your body's not going to burn as much as it could because you're inter- you're putting things in your body for your body to use as a source of energy instead of it using your own fat. So I didn't lose any weight and um, like not one pound, not two pounds, and I didn't gain. It's literally the same amount, 249.6 from last week to this week. Um, I also drank on that trip. I had a daiquiri. I had a drink um, that I got from a cafe, but I ended up not really drinking it. Um, I really didn't drink that much. But guys, I had a daiquiri that was probably about this size, right? And I was so scared to drink it because I was like, everybody says that when you have VSG, you can get intoxicated way faster than you used to. Now, before I went on my trip to New Orleans, I actually did drink some wine to try to test the waters because I knew when I went to New Orleans that I was going to drink because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to do a little turn up. So that's pretty much what I did. I drank, but I just didn't drink that much. I never really was a big drinker anyway, but I drank that daiquiri guys and I felt great. Like my stomach didn't hurt. I didn't have bubble guts. Um, I didn't feel overly intoxicated when I had my other drink from the little cafe it was like, um, you know, a drink on rocks. Basically it wasn't a daiquiri where it was like frozen just like a regular drink that they had made. Um, I didn't drink that much of it, but it didn't make my stomach hurt. It didn't do any of that. And I'm saying that because I'm not a year out yet. And I believe my nutritionist, when I did the process, they told me you shouldn't drink alcohol until you're a year out. But honestly, I knew that going to New Orleans, uh, like within four months of me having my surgery, I knew I was going to drink. Like I knew I was going to test the waters just you know, just to see or whatever. And that's what I did. And I was perfectly fine. So guys, I know that you guys saw me order it, but let me just tell you, I'm trying to get back on track because I've been doing lattes, but they have not been decaf. So this is me trying to get back on track. So this was a, a medium iced latte. I got it decaf with the sugar free the sugar free french vanilla but honestly i just wanted it to be sugar free vanilla starbucks uh sugar free is way better and then splenda you know just to add a little bit more flavor and it's okay 
you can definitely taste the difference between decaf and regular, but it's it's really okay. Like it's nothing to like, you know, shake my finger at. But that's me trying to be good, and it has 15 grams of protein in this um in this drink. It I guess it's the milk. It's ultra filt filtrate filtrate milk. And maybe that's what gives it the protein. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. But anything that says that it has, um, excuse me, guys. Anything that says that it has protein in it, I try to get it because we're always trying to, you know, make sure we get our protein in. So anyway, that was pretty much my trip. I didn't do anything big. Like, I didn't go to any clubs or anything. I was on bourbon. Um... What I can say is that I felt good about how I looked. Like, I wore shorts, tank tops. I posted, um, I think I posted maybe a picture or two here and there on Instagram. So, you can go check my Instagram out. It's VSG Life. It's V-S-G-L-Y-F-E Life. VSG Life. I think I posted a picture here and there. And I looked really good. I felt really good. Like, honestly, if I would have went to New Orleans before having this surgery, I probably would have not felt this good because my body has slimmed down some. Guys, look, my collarbone is showing. Like, I honestly can feel it. Like, it's right there, tap, tap. But, like, if I move a certain way, <laughs> so stupid. But you see that right there? Ooh, look at that. Mm, bam, collarbone action. I can't wait till it's, like, completely showing my collarbone like that's gonna be amazing um I think I've mentioned this in a previous uh video about my collarbone um next week I have my post-op appointment and um I'm I'm nervous about that I'm hope I'm on I hope I'm on track as far as weight loss and I think they might be doing blood work so I also hope that is my lips white? I also hope that, you know, my blood work comes back okay. Um, I've been trying to remember taking my vitamins and stuff. I still have not gotten that multivitamin, guys. But I do have a hair, uh, a hair skin, and nail vitamin that kind of, I feel like it kind of acts as a multivitamin. But I take the hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I take the three calcium vitamins. And um, I take a vitamin D. I decided that the calcium vitamins, and I'm digging in my purse so I can show you guys, because I'll probably be taking that in a little bit, probably um around four-ish, because I have another meeting when I get back from lunch, and these things make my stomach, like, growl, like, make noise, I don't... I don't know why, but these things make tear my stomach. Not tear it up because it's not like it hurts. But after I take these calcium vitamins, and these are from um, Celebr Celebrate, I think it is. After I take these, and this is the watermelon flavor, my stomach starts to, like, bubble. So I think next time I'm just going to get, even when it comes to the multivitamins, I'm just going to get the ones that melt in your mouth because those are like the simplest vitamins. Like my vitamin D is the simplest vitamin for me to take. All I got to do is pop it in my mouth and it, and it dissolves. Like I might have to get all my vitamins like that if I can. I just need to go back on bariatric power and I really need to pay, pay for my multivitamin. Um, I need to do that today. So yeah. So that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Um, I do want to do an update with the, I think it's called Zuzu or Z something soup, that soup that measures you. I think I want to do um, do a video on that, like doing doing my measurements and stuff to see how far my measurements have come. I know the last time I measured around my waist, which is usually the only place that I measure, I was down 10 inches around my waist. My stomach has gone down a lot and it still has a lot more going down to do. Um, I think I just need to help it along the way and start working out. I really want to get into the gym. I think I'm just going to have to do it. It's like I want to get in the gym, but I don't want to get in the gym. It's certain things that I want to use at the gym. That's the only reason why I want to go to the gym. Because 
my legs, I want to tone them up, guys. Like, my legs are flabby. Like, the insides are flabby. And, like, when I twerk, or if I decide to twerk, which I don't do, guys. I don't twerk outside in public. But I will if I want to. If I get to that place. I just want to make sure my legs is not flabbing all over the place. And that's what my legs are right now. And there's a machine at the gym that you sit back and you put your feet up and you push the weight. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. But when I used to go to the gym, I used to use that. And I want to get in the gym and work on my legs, work on my arms, work on lifting my breasts. Because I feel like my boobs are coming, becoming saggy. And my boyfriend, he is trying to tell me that they're not saggy. But, but y'all, I feel like they don't sag. I don't know. Like, I need them up here. So, also, what I like to talk about is I've been, I think this man is walking around getting exercise. You go, man. Also, I've been um, really thinking about getting a Brazilian butt lift. It is something that I've always wanted. I actually had a consultation maybe like four to five years ago. Like, after I had my son, I had a consultation with a doctor. And I wanted to get it. My mom got it. I wanted to get it. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm, like, trying to get through traffic. I wanted to get it. And at the time, the doctor told me... The doctor told me that I had to lose 100 pounds. Now, that's when I was probably around the same weight I was when I started my surgery, around 302 pounds. Because I've been at that weight for a very long time. Like, the highest I went was 325, which was... Um, last summer, that was my highest, but then it, it went back to 302. So I think I was around 302. He told me I had to lose 100 pounds because there, his whole thing is, and what most doctors probably are, is what I've heard, you know, because I've watched people's journey with their BBL. I've, I've watched uh, Dr. Miami, Dr. Curves. You have to be a certain BMI. And... You can't be, like, obese and try to go get a BBL because the fat that they're going to use is not... I forgot what kind of fat it is, but it's not fat that basically will stay. Like, they can put it there and it'll look big at first and then it'll basically, I guess, kind of sort of evaporate, for lack of a better word. It sounds weird saying your booty will evaporate, but hey. But he basically told me I needed to lose 100 pounds. So I've put in my head, and what I'm kind of slightly deciding is that once I'm a year plus out, I will, of course, make a definite decision on if I want to do it. Why do I want to do it? Because, long story short, I want to, I want to, but I want to be more curvier, and I don't have any backside. Like, I just don't. My mom doesn't. Now she does. She had a BBL. Um, it's just not something that we were blessed with in our family. And I really feel like I just want one. Like I, I want to have a nice, but I don't want to have no big old, like what's the girl, what's the dang girl name? Black China booty. Like, Ooh, that booty nasty. I just want to have a little bit more curve to me and I'm deciding to decide about it. After I'm a I'm one year plus out. Um, also, another thing that I was considering was a breast lift because I feel like, like I said, I feel like my breasts are sagging, and I feel like a breast lift might be in in the future. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the months and tell you guys how I feel about it. Right now, I'm trying to be focused on eating better. Um, because I've been slacking, eating better, drinking more water. You know, the everyday, the everyday thing that all of us who have had, uh, who've had this surgery think about. We think about eating better. We think about making better choices, getting our liquid, getting our protein in. It's the same thing that I think about. Do I always succeed? No. But I'm trying to get to a point where I do better and, um, like I like I said, I don't know if I said this in my last video, but I said when I came back from my New Orleans, New Orleans trip, I'm sorry guys, I'm getting tongue-tied like a mug, 
when I come back from my when I came back from my New Orleans trip, I was gonna like do a restart, like as far as like my life. And I've been slowly but surely trying to do that. I'm trying to put my website up within the next two weeks. That's the time limit I told myself I need to give myself because I just honestly just need to put the website up and just critique it and and fix it, you know, while it's up. It doesn't have to be perfect at first, but I definitely have been wanting to start my own business, my own hairline for the longest time. And I'm at a place now where I love the hair that I have. I love the vendor that I have. I I love the lashes that I have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try to put my website up. Um, I'm also, I also slightly reorganized my my dresser in my closet somewhat not organized but like got rid of the clothes that I cannot fit so guys I'm in a 1x right now um like slowly progressing to an extra large I came from a 3x so if you can imagine I'm not able to fit those 3x clothes anymore I had to like really go through my dresser make room for some of the new clothes that I bought when I went to New Orleans like put some of the other clothes in a box and I probably most likely will be donating that stuff um, either to the Goodwill or like one of those um, boxes that you put the stuff in for the homeless people so I'm probably going to be doing that but I'm just trying to get my stuff together get my life together I got a lot of stuff still coming up um it's July now, so in August I'm supposed to be going to go see Chris Brown. He comes to Jacksonville. Um, also, I wanted to go to the 85th South show. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's like DC Young Fly, Carlos. And I forgot the other guy name, but he's got the ball head. They're usually on Wild and Out. That's where they came. That's where they come from, or that's where I know them from. Um, I'm supposed to be going to go see them. And I also have to pay off my Cancun trip for my birthday. So I have a lot of stuff coming up that I have to pay for. And um, that's why I've been doing DoorDash. And just, you know, just just trying to get my coins up and get focused on ending this year with a bang. Like, as y'all know, I lost my father this year. So that kind of put me back some um, financially, emotionally like all of that so I'm really I really have to put my per, my my year into perspective and end it with a bang and then be able to start 2020 um you know knowing knowing that I set some things in line during 2019 so I'm real big on stuff like that I love like trying to stay focused and motivated on completing a task and being motivated through the year and I use, you know, New Year's resolutions and things like that to try to stay focused. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because it's long. That's just how my videos are. I've come to accept that I'm not going to make it to the 15-minute mark. <laughs> um, but I might go ahead and add some pictures of... No, I probably won't. I probably won't add any pictures of my New Orleans trip. I posted, I posted a little bit on Instagram, so if you want to see that, you can see that on there. But I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm 53 pounds down, um, 18 weeks out. I am still losing weight. I am, I, I don't regret the surgery at all. Like regret is not even in my category when talking about stuff like this. Um, and I'm just. I'm just trying to, you know, make it through. That's really what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm trying to do the best that I can do. But I w what I will also say is I have cravings. And it's at a point where I don't know if it's me craving it because of what I'm used to, like having bad eating habits, or if I'm craving because I'm craving. But I was hoping that it wouldn't get to that point. But what I can say is that I will set myself up and crave for certain foods and then I cannot eat it so yesterday I stopped at Wawa's while I was door dashing I stopped and I was like you know what I want to go in there and get like an iced coffee or something that's what I said I wanted to get I ended up getting what's called a flurricane which is basically like an like a McFlurry and I could I took a couple spoonfuls and I could not eat anymore y'all 
So this is one thing I love about VSG is because you will sit there and you will tell yourself you want something and you're going to waste your money. You're going to waste your time because you're not going to be able to eat it like how you used to be able to eat it. This tool is definitely working. (laughs) I can never eat anything. So it just, it doesn't even make sense for me to do half of the things that I do. Like, because I can't eat it. It's a waste of money. Like, I felt like in New Orleans, I didn't do anything but waste money on food. Like, literally. I spent about $300. And that was, I feel like it was mainly on food. All on stuff that I could not even eat, y'all. So... I'm probably going to do a video on, like, um, in six, when I hit six months, I'm probably going to do a video on, like, what I could do and what I couldn't do, <laughs> you know, just as a little fun video for VSG, because that's one of the things that I cannot do. I cannot go out and get excited about eating something because about four tablespoons in, I'm done, like, finito. But that's neither here nor there. I have to go back to work anyway in another 10 minutes, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. i like to say thank you for watching. Make sure if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like my video. Leave me a comment. I love when people leave me comments. I think it's so dope. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You guys have a wonderful part of your day, whatever day, whatever part of the day. It is when you watch this video. I hope it's a good one for you. Have a good one.